We are here at Crystal Light Skylight Fabricating Company in Everett, Washington, where the cupola behind us has been built for the Ananda Temple of Light in uh, Ananda Village down in Northern California. They're about to crate it up, but we were here to sh find out about it and inspect it and find out how they built the, the process. It's uh, 140 inches wide and 150 inches tall. It's like 12 by 13. Pardon the uh, saw behind us here. <laughs> so anyway, um, can you tell us a little bit more about what you've discovered about how this built? Yes. Uh, Kyle, who has been our host here, um, worked on the design that our architect JT Heater, better known as Ponderanga, gave him and was able through um, working on several computer programs to figure out the design for both the glazing, which is a polycarbonate, and the frame, which is a metal uh, gold painted frame, and had different types of fabricating um, fabricators work on the different pieces. The polycarbonate was actually subbed out to a company to be cut with what they call water jets. It's kind of like a laser, but uh, Kyle said that it's even more precise and smoother cuts. So he was able to take that curved design and actually flatten it out into flat pieces that were then carved, cut by the water jet. Um, another fellow who works there, his name is Kent also, was the metal fabricator. And he fabricated the inside and outside channels um, to be able to receive the polycarbonate. There's a rubber gasket in between the two channels to make it seal so that it's weather tight. And that was also designed by Kyle and then um, sent out to a rubber gasket fabricator. And then the whole piece was put together. Uh, Kent actually welded the pieces together, did the welding, created the base, and fabricated the, the struts that are going up and put it all together. And then it was sent to um, um, the painters so that the gold paint could be put on to the metal pieces. And it's a gorgeous, amazing piece. When we walked in the door today and first saw it, all of us just caught our breath because it's so gorgeous. Kyle also told us that in the last few weeks that they've had it sitting out here, people have actually stopped um, to come into the factory and see it and ask questions about it because it's so ex extraordinary and so magnetic. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna uh, go in and look at the, um, how a few go get a tour of their manufacturing facility and we're going to set up a time-lapse camera like we've been doing down at the temple to um, actually record the crating of the, um, of the cupola. It'll take about a day or two, but he said about two days to crate it up into a big, huge uh, box. It's gonna be probably 15 feet by 15 feet, and uh, which you'll be seeing in, uh, in a, either this video or a subsequent video. And um, then it'll be shipped down uh, uh, on a semi-trailer with an oversized, uh, it's an oversized semi-trailer, so it has to have pilot cars on both ends, front and back pilot cars. And you'll be seeing that in a, in a later video also. So anyway, here we are. Um, we're ready to go. And um, Om Tat Sat. Well, because of the height, you can't get close with the ladder because of the way it's shaped. Right. Yeah. So you got We had people inside pushing up on it. We had planks inside holding it up and trying to get it in pockets. People on the outside pushing, and so. Mm -hmm. 